So when everybody starts thinking about pasture production and forage growth, everybody wants to get you know as much growth as possible. And so we thought we would talk a little bit about one of the key things that influences a plant's growth rate, and it's the stage of maturity of that plant. And if I had to try to draw a curve that illustrated that, it would be a curve, kind of something along those lines right there, where if we look down at this part, you know, let's just say we take a plant that has just been grazed off, okay? And so I've got a little bitty plant right there that doesn't have any leaf area, okay, because it's, it's been grazed off. And so, you know, the way that a, pr a primary way that a plant is going to be able to grow is using energy from photosynthesis. That plant captures sunlight with its leaves and turns that sunlight into a chemical form of energy that it uses to be able to grow. So it produces more leaves and, you know, the cycle continues. Well, if I have a plant that's just been grazed off, so it, it can't produce a lot of energy through photosynthesis because it doesn't have much uh, leaf area to capture sunlight. So if that plant's going to regrow, it has to use stored energy in the roots and the crown of that plant. Well, that doesn't you know, happen real quick. So the growth rate of the plant at that stage is relatively slow, but it begins to grow a little bit faster, put more leaves out to where I finally get to a plant, you know, that's gonna look something like that. So now I've got a grass that's got a lot of leaf area. Okay, it's capturing a lot of sunlight. The leaves are, you know, relatively young. Uh, they're pretty uh, efficient at the photosynthetic process. And so it's produced a lot of energy. So all of a sudden now my growth rate is just really taken off. That plant's growing as fast as it's ever gonna grow at this stage. If I just continue to, to let that plant grow and I don't cut it or don't graze it, what I end up with is, you know, a plant that's going to be something like this. Hope this shows up. But basically what I'm trying to, to draw is a plant that's got, you know, more leaves, bigger leaves than it did here at this stage. But the problem here is that the leaves have gotten older. So they're less efficient at the photosynthetic process. So they're not producing as much energy. And then the other thing that I have is I'm going to have some sort of a seed head. So now all of a sudden this, this plant has, has gone into a reproductive growth phase. It's got this seed head. And so it's producing less energy because the leaves are older and less efficient at the photosynthetic process, but the energy it is producing is going right up into that seed head because the plant is trying to reproduce itself. And so obviously what happens is my growth rate slows down. Now the reason that this is important is because I can look at a pasture and, and look at you know what stage my plants are in and I can have a, a indication of how I need to manage it for instance if I go out to a field you know it's it's mid to late May uh, my fescue pasture has got a bunch of seed heads up there you know and it's it's a couple feet tall what I know is that number one my forage quality is getting a little bit lower every day that the, you know this plant is allowed to be in this reproductive stage but the second thing is I'm not getting the regrowth of the high quality portions of the plant, which is the leaves, because it's the plant's not trying to produce leaves, it's trying to produce seed. <clears throat> so what I need to do is I need to clip that plant off, either graze it off, cut it for hay, mow it, something to get that forage off of there so light can get back down to the, to the growing point of that plant and it can stimulate new leaves to come out. That way I can put it back into this, this uh, rapid growth phase. So over here, I need to do something to manage to get that forage off of there. If I come down to this stage and I see a pasture that's grazed down, you know, we've already said it has to regrow using stored energy from the crown and the, the roots of the plant. But let's say that it starts to regrow and it starts popping a few leaves out and then, you know, an animal comes through and grazes it off again and sends it back down to the bottom. It's got to regrow again. It's got to use more stored energy from the roots. So it starts trying to regrow. And then they come back and they graze it off again and again and again. And every time this plant tries to regrow with using that stored energy, something you know grazes it off. Eventually what's going to happen to that plant is this just going to run out of stored energy so it's going to die or is it either going to be weakened to the point that a, a drought, insect disease, something is going to kill it. But the, the point is, is that when you keep a field overgrazed, a plant is constantly overgrazed, you're stressing the carbohydrate reserves of that plant and you're going to eventually kill it. So you're going to thin your stands out. And so either end of this curve actually kind of causes you a problem. If you, you know, if you graze too much, 
overgraze it. You're going to thin your stand out because you weaken the plants. If you come over on this side and, and you undergraze, you don't graze it hard enough, then you end up wasting a lot of forage and you, you reduce your forage yield. So the idea in your grazing management is to try to keep your plants as best you can within this phase right here. Try to keep the plants actively growing with enough leaf area that they're able to photosynthesize, but try to keep the plants young enough so they don't go reproductive and you can uh, maintain that, that, uh, that high growth rate. And so this is simply the, the context for trying to rotationally graze something. You graze your plants down, but before you graze them too hard, you get the animals off into a new paddock or a new field, let the plants regrow before they spend too much time over on this side. You put animals back on, graze it back down, and you just move back and forth within this, this, uh, you know, this active growing phase. That's what you're trying to do with, with rotational grazing. So if you ever read an article about rotational grazing and, and it makes it sound like it's an animal management tool where you're moving your animals to, to different pastures, really rotational grazing is not about animal management. It's about forage management. What you're trying to do is to control this curve and you're trying to go from here to here. Some people want to go and, and have such tight control over this curve that they want to you know, go down in one day. So you make small paddocks, put a bunch of animals on there, they graze all the forage down. Maybe somebody wants to say, okay, I don't want to do it every day. I want to you know, control it over the course of about a week. So to go from here to here in a week, you adjust your pasture size to give them a, uh, enough to graze for a week. But it's the concept of trying to control you know, this, this, this curve using your animals to be able to do that. So that's one of the key concepts in forage management is to understand how plant maturity affects the growth rate and how you can manage that through your grazing management.